Alrighty, hey Honors Chemistry. So I wanted to make like a quick video on worksheet number one. I know I said I would only do a total of two videos, but the first video is only about 10 minutes. This should only take about four and a half minutes, five minutes. So if you take out worksheet number one, we're not gonna do the front over break. We're gonna do the front when we get back. Just to check to make sure you understand mixtures and how to separate the difference between a mixture and a compound. That's gonna be good checking for understanding. When you flip to the back, I already started some of them, so if some of you are a bit fast, or if you did already, you want to check your work, some of them are already done. But you're going to get questions that are like this, where you have to recognize what type of particle diagrams are present, and then you have to be able to distinguish between atoms, molecules, elements, compounds, and mixtures, or pure substances. So you might need to go back to your notes that you took from my previous video about how to distinguish between all of those. So the first question says, which of these are mixtures? So going through each of them, I started to make a note that in this first container, I have all molecules. Remember, molecules are two or more atoms. Two or more atoms. If I have different colors, right, two elements combined, that's a compound. And all of these are the same molecule of the same compound, so this whole thing is a compound. In the next box, I have three different things here. I have an atom of an element. I have what I'm going to call a molecule of an element. This is going to be huge. Make sure you know that it, if it's the same color, it's an element. But if I have more than one, it's still a molecule. So I have a molecule of an element, an atom of an element, and then I have a molecule of a compound. I have three different things here, three different substances here. Two or more substances combined is a mixture, so B was definitely a mixture. Then, if I go into the third container, I have all of the same particle. Since they're all the same particle and all the same color, this is definitely an element. But what kind of element? This is a molecule of an element. So these are all molecules of elements. This is an element then. This box is an element. Just like these are all molecules of the same kind, this is a compound, this is an element, okay? And then finally in the last box, I have, looks like two different types of molecules here. I have these two molecules. They look the same, but then I have this molecule. So this is a different compound. Why well, don't know this is a compound? There's two different colors that are combined. Two elements combined makes a compound. And this is three different atoms. Two different colors, of course, but three of them. This is another molecule of a compound. Two different ones makes this a mixture. So D is also a mixture. Now, if B and D are mixtures, that must mean A and C are pure substances, and they are. A is a pure compound, and C is a pure element. Make sure you're able to make that distinguish, or distinguish between the two, which contain only compounds, meaning in the box, it didn't say pure or mixture, it just says which only contain compounds. Well, we mentioned in the first box that A only contains compounds, B doesn't only contain compounds, there's a compound and two elements. C only contains molecules of elements, not compounds, and D they have compounds, two different compounds, but only contains compounds. Remember, compounds are two or more colors. And then finally it says only elements. Which ones only contain elements? This first one, like we said, all of them are molecules and all of the molecules have two or more colors, so it's different compounds, they're all the same compound. This is a mixture of an element, element and compound. And finally, letter C here, these are all the same color. All of these are molecules, but all of these, since they're the same color of the same molecule, this is an element. So C contains only elements. And then D has two compounds mixed here. So all I want you to do um, is copy these answers and make sure you understand this. And when you get back from break, we're going to go over and make sure we understand more of understanding particle diagrams and distinguishing between elements, compounds, and mixtures, and pure substances.